In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, gains from exchange and specialization. My website's mybooksucks.com. I'm going to discuss gains in trade for a single country. I'm going to use the production possibilities frontier. And if you don't understand the production possibility frontier concept, there's other videos that explain it. If we look at the price of X divided by the price of Y, it intersects with the production possibility curve at this point right there where it's tangent. When I add a difference curves, the country will produce at that gray point right there. This is very similar to how a consumer consumes limited by their budget line. At this point, there'll be X1 produced and Y1 produced. Let me, let me get rid of some of this so you can kind of see a little bit better what I'm doing here too. Again, this is the PPF or the production possibility frontier, the red. Now I imagine a country can sell X for a higher price than it can domestically. Think Colombian coffee or think Saudi Arabian oil, right? They can sell it abroad much more than they can sell it domestically. And this blue dot, what happens, you see the blue dot there, the country actually switches resources and starts producing more of X than of Y because they can sell X abroad and make money. Again, oil or coffee. Now the new ratio of P, the price of X to price of Y is the blue line. So here the country produces X2, which is more than before because they're focusing on that, and they produce Y2, which is a lower quantity than the previous quantity of Y that they produce because they're specializing. Less of Y and more of X. Again, what there's happening is the country is beginning to specialize in producing maybe oil or coffee or whatever, and so they produce less of one item and they produce more of another item. Well, when I put the indifference curves back in, what's interesting is, is now the country can reach a higher indifference curve from trade, which is the blue dot up above. The country can consume more of product X and more of product Y both. In fact, we can see a slight increase in the consumption of X here in a second, over there, there right there. And now instead of producing Y, it's buying Y internationally from other countries because it's gotten a lot of revenue from selling X abroad. Again, think oil or think Colombian coffee. This concept is a really difficult idea, so I would encourage you to watch the video a few times, and I'll be posting more.